All right, we are live, yo. How's it going, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome on in, yo. Miss Robin, the first in chat here. How's it going, love? Welcome on in. Claudia, Chris Skywalker, Michelle, Sean, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Biza, welcome to the Twitch. How's it going, Claudia? Thank you for the heart me. Michelle, thank you for the 10 roses. Jason, welcome on in. Thank you for the heart me and the three roses. Uh, Christian, KG, Tito Games, Miette, Daniel. Uh, how's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Yo, Jason, thank you for the two more roses as well. Appreciate that. Lorenzo, welcome on in. Thank you for the GGs coming in. Appreciate that. Yo, Evil XZ0, thank you for the chilies. Uh, Catapina Torres, welcome on in. How's it going? Uh, Rabar Barra, welcome on in. How's it going? Yo, Marbar likes wine. Welcome to the Twitch. Do I have a push notifications or you, do your followers automatically get notified? Um, TikTok is very iffy about sending notifications, so the best way to get notified is the Discord. Yo, Zane, welcome on in. Thank you for the finger hearts. Appreciate that. Panther love and welcome on in. How's it going? Um, all right. Let's get going here. The possibility of an island. Let's do this. Let's do this. Atomized. This level is freaking messed up. Cool, let's do this. Let's do this. So yeah, uh, in this level, Mario cannot let go of the key. It is physically glued to his hands. So you cannot let go. It's a gimmick called Sticky Keys. And this is a uh, shell escort level, actually. So we gotta bring these shells with us, despite the fact that we can't grab them. So we have to kick them and bounce them around, rather than grabbing them. And it is a really messed up and stressful and, dare I say, janky level. There, there's some jank going on with the uh, note blocks especially, but that's part of the challenge of this level is finding the ways to mitigate that and get a consistent way through it. Yo, Claudia, welcome to the twi uh, TikTok. Hope you're doing well. Okay, we already got a really good attempt going here. Okay. Okay. So I practiced a tiny, tiny bit off screen just because this part up ahead, this jump right here, is the hardest part of the level and it's really been stressing me out. Let's give this a shot here. And we completely messed up everything about it. Cool, okay. Okay, that was a good attempt. We got there, which is... About as good as we can ask for with how hard that jump itself is. Have to win it tonight? I'll do my best. I'll do my best, but it, again, this is a really messed up level. We did get kind of stuck toward the end of stream last stream. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this stream as well and we can get some more progress than that. We'll have to see how it goes, but... I feel like with the right attitude, with the right amount of practice, can get a really good amount of progress here. Oh crap. Okay, so yeah, right there what happened is, um, you have to escort both shells, uh, the top shell and the bottom shell, um, by bumping them, um, up using the note blocks and the coin blocks. But with that top shell, if you bump it left like that, then it'll get stuck up there and you can't recover it. So I was just dead at that point when I hit the coin block on the wrong side. Gotta really be careful of stuff like that. Yo, Gren, welcome on in. Thank you for the confetti gift. Paula, thank you for the 10 TikToks. Yo, Lord Hoyle, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in everybody from Patty's stream. Hope you're all doing well. How's it going? 
Welcome on in. Man, okay. Wonder... That... That was kind of doable, actually. Yo, Ingrid, thank you for the freaking galaxy. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It really means a lot. But yeah, welcome on in, everybody, from Patty's stream. Hope you're all doing well. Oh, you're kidding me, man. Yeah. Okay. That's really tough to get it to line up to where I can actually bounce the shell up on the top one. It was a good attempt, though. We're getting there. Yo, Gren, thank you for the freaking galaxy as well. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Followed me on Twitter, and um, you have Twitter blue... Uh, don't block me. I think I have it set to, um, not block people who follow me. I, um, I have an automatic blocker extension for blue checks because that's the only way that Twitter is a remotely enjoyable experience for me. Welcome on in, by the way. Getting a good attempt here. Gotta focus. Okay. Uh, that's that shell is in an annoying spot down there, but at least we can get that one into the right spot ish. We'll have to. Oh, perfect. Nice. Recovered it. So we need to hit that. Okay. So now we're set up for the hardest trick in the level here. That didn't work. But that shell there was in the wrong spot. But that's basically what I want. I just um, kicked the shells at the wrong time, so that one was way behind where it's supposed to be. Whoo, good attempt though. We are getting there. Let's go. Okay. Nice. Let's go. Whoo. We will take that. So yeah, again, the gimmick going on here is I, Mario physically cannot let go of the key, but you still have to bring the shells along with you. The only way to do that is to bump the shells around and uh, kick them around. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay, okay, we're fine. <laughs> that was very panic inducing, but we're fine. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So that ended up in the perfect spot. Nice. Oh, no! Oh, that could have been it! No, I just didn't jump high enough to hit the coin block. I got the kick at the perfect time there, though. Okay. We'll take that. We'll take that. Nice. Let's go. Yo, Phoenix Risen, Risen, welcome on in. Sid, welcome on in. Hope you're all doing well. I have been kind of focused on the level, so not paying as much attention to chat, but hope you're all doing well. Yo, Rachel, welcome on in. Thank you for the heart me. Uh, Rogue Leader, thank you for the heart me. Welcome on in. Yeah, the music's great in this level. Yo, Ingrid, thank you for another freaking galaxy. Thank you so much for the support. It really means a lot. Whew. Yeah, thank you for the heart me as well. Appreciate that. Okay, landing on that shell as soon as I possibly can seems to help quite a lot. Nice, okay. Kind of close to messing it up, but we're fine. Shit. I'm just dead. Hey, yeah, there's just nothing I can do. Man. That is the hardest trick in the level. Like, by far. It's not even close, but... 
Even after all that, we're not in the clear. That's like halfway through the level and there's still another really tough part of the level that's... It looks harder than that looks, but, um... I wouldn't say it's quite as hard as that obstacle. Nice. Yeah. Okay. We're getting good attempts in though. Like I'm uh getting the right the right muscle memory down. The right inputs just slightly off by a pixel or so. It's a very, very precise timing that I want, like down to the pixel there basically. But yeah, really loving the consistency today, feeling quite confident about this. Unlike the end of last stream where I was just stuck in a death loop and dying in the most frustrating possible ways, we're actually getting somewhere today. Okay, well, I did kick it at the wrong time, too. But yeah, you need to kick both shells. But not only that, uh, the timing for when you kick the first shell, the bottom shell there, is extremely precise. And there's not really a good lineup for how to get the right trajectory to time the kick right. So it kind of ends up feeling like luck with how precise it is. Yo, Trisha Bear, thank you for the game controller and the 33 roses. Space Honk, welcome on in. Thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Come on. Ooh. Yo, Gren, thank you for the rose. Appreciate that. Yeah, just dead. Yo, Gren with the even more roses. The 11, thank you. Yo, Entropy from Twitch says hi to TikTok. Okay, yeah, we're getting a lot better at bouncing on that shell at the right time to uh, make that part actually line up without having to reset it which is really, really handy. Yeah, no, that's too far over. Oh, come on! That was close to being a bounce, okay. Just a matter of getting a hang of it. Um, nope. Come on, man, that death is annoying. Yo, love, thank you for the greeting card gift. That is so generous of you. Thank you so much for the support, it means a lot. It's dead. Ooh. Okay, that's a good lineup, perfect. Are you kidding me? Man, like mid bounce there. Just the bounce animation lasts so long that you can move over and die to the death block that way. Just one of like a million things that you gotta be super careful about in this level. Yo, know, Jimmy, thank you for the pumped up gift. Really appreciate that, thanks so much for the support. That shell's in a bad spot, but we can at least move the sh top shell into a better spot. 
There we go. Okay. Okay. Hardest jump in the level. Ah, oh, that wasn't quite it. That was close. That was really close. Okay. We're getting there. Whew, we are getting there. death. I got a bounce off of the shell. That was like a drop midder kind of deal there. Man, that is the worst way to die there. That is the actual worst way to die there. Come on. You have an easier strat for the hardest jump that you didn't use. So, uh, it's in the back of your all clear vid. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know if I'll use that. Do you think that this is the intended strat? And that your easier strat is, uh, sort of cheese? Or... Do you think that both might have been intended? Cause... I make my decisions based on what the creator j is going for. Obviously, there's no official clear video here, so... Yo, Tingly Spice, thank you for the heart me, appreciate that. How's it going, Revelug, by the way? Hope you're doing well. Yo, Dave Scott, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. No! Scrolled the screen too far. This level is a special case where I think the intended movement is whatever people figure out because Kona was adamant about not providing a clear vid for this. That is fair. Uh, let me pull up Revelug's clear video then. Uh, let's see. Possibility of an island. YouTube. All clears. Okay. This is on Revelog's YouTube here. Let me... Okay. So that would be at the end of the video here. Let me pause the video. Easier strategies I didn't use. So that's this strategy here. Yeah, see... <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I can kind of see that. Like, you do that as a separate jump. Okay, okay. That feels more intended. Okay, let me experiment around with that then. Okay, so we put that up there first. Then we have to... Have to carefully bump that without dying is the thing there. Then you do a big bounce. And then you're gonna have to, um... Oh, interesting. Wait. You don't even have to wait for it to, like, land up there. But yeah, gonna have to be faster there, and then catch up to that. Oh my god, that feels so much better. Oh my god. Yeah, this feels intended. That makes it so much better. Because that's, like basically the same thing you do for the uh getting that bottom shell from the left side to the right side of this whole contraption here but yeah have to be faster here because you're bumping the shell earlier do you have to be a little careful there maybe just hold jump longer yeah okay so do that, that, that. Okay, I bumped that. There. Oh, come on. Let's 
So yeah. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that's the big thing to be careful of with this setup. Is to be sure to fall slow enough. And I took too long there, so okay. So yeah, the other big thing here is now I have to worry about being fast enough with this whole next sequence. Whereas the other strategy there, I was trying to like intentionally slow down with that whole sequence. So right there, I need to be super fast to be able to catch up to that shell. In fact, I wonder if I should be doing a big bounce at all there. Or the midair. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of tricky. Okay, something like that. Yeah, okay. Then we're doing the whole rest of the level like this. Okay, okay. That seems a lot better. Okay. Yeah, let's do it that way. Let's do it that way. Purposely went with the harder option that you did figure out compared to the easier option you got from You Fail Me's clear vid. Gotcha. Yeah, for this one, like, I d potentially am uh, looking at clear videos and stuff like that. Um... It might have been cool to, like, figure out my own strategies and stuff like that. But... This level's way too cryptic, honestly. All right. Let's give this new strategy a shot here. Okay, okay. Immediately got a really good attempt there. Yeah, okay, this is so much better. This is so much better. Let's do this. Hell yeah. Yo, Claudia, thank you for the cheer you up gifts. Appreciate that. So I don't even know if that would be, um, at this point, I don't even know if that would be considered the hardest part of the level anymore. Now I have this better strategy for it. Oh, come on. Wow. Couldn't get that for the life of me. Couldn't get the kick on it is the main thing. <sighs> Love my dedication. Thank you. Yo, Claudia, thank you for the team bracelets as well. Appreciate that. Do the creators of them, ha the hacks beat it themselves? Yes, absolutely. And it's very apparently obvious in the quality of the hack if they didn't. Um, this hack is good as a result of the fact that the creator themselves is capable of beating it. Otherwise, it wouldn't necessarily be that good of a hack. Oh, come on. Shit! Oh, man. Helps that the creator of this hack is one of the best players in the world. Yeah, definitely. Shouts to Eden. Being rather sleepy. Yeah, my, my streams have been drifting later and later in the night, that's for sure. Oh! Okay. No, are you kidding me? How'd that kill me, man? Oh, come on.
Oh yeah, uh, funny thing. Um, with this, uh, with this in-game music here, um, despite this being a 16-bit port that, uh, Wyatt did, um, like, this was optimized and compressed down and made to be able to play on a 16-bit console with 64 kilobytes of audio RAM. Um, it still flagged YouTube's, uh, copyright system and, uh, completely blocked the video. Like, usually with, uh, YouTube copyright stuff, it just, uh, disables monetization, which I don't have monetization anyway, but for this one, it just completely blocked the video. So, I was not able to upload the, um, VOD for the last stream with the original audio. I had to replace the audio. I thankfully keep a multi-track recording going, so I have a separate microphone, so I just threw in some other music instead, but yeah. But now we know what song it is, without having to look it up. It is, um, Bob Sinclair, Save Our Soul, I believe. Thank you, YouTube, for telling me, I guess. <laughs> Okay! Okay! That was a good attempt, let's go! Okay, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yo, Leva, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Oh shit, uh, that's fine. God, that is stressful. I was so afraid that the shell would get kicked again. Okay, we're fine though, we're fine. Okay, this is progress. I've never been this far before. No! Man, okay! Okay! Oh, that was such a good attempt! Let's go! Hell yeah! Yeah, so the reason I have to, um, keep the key the entire time in my hands, uh, this actually has a custom bit of code applied in this level where Mario physically cannot let go of the key. It is, like, permanently glued to his hands. And, um, so I can't grab shells. If I want to bring shells with me, I have to do it manually using, um, bump sprites from coins and note blocks and, uh, kicking them around. And this is a shell, um, like, uh, I don't know why, um, I can't find the word, but... Escort mission. It's a shell escort mission, basically. Oh, that was another good attempt. Okay. Yeah, sticky keys turned on. Exactly. Yo, Anton, welcome on in. Thank you for the rose. Appreciate that. Yeah, now that we have this better strategy, it works so much better. Like, oh my god. Made a huge difference. So you said that, uh, Fail was the one that found this strategy? Thank you, Fail. Has fail beaten the whole hack? I want to know who all has beaten this. Because apparently, once five people beat this full hack, 
then there'll be a sequel. Ah, uh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Now the shell's stuck up there and I can't do anything about it. Yep. Good attempt, though. Okay. Yo, Jason, thank you for the five corn gifts. Appreciate that. Right. Am I aiming to be one of the five? Uh, at this point, yeah. Especially because, um, apparently the level that I've been most afraid of, which is the uh, last remaining level after I beat this one, um the input block level is, according to Revelug, the easiest level in the hack. It is a new gimmick that I have never dealt with before, so it intimidates me quite a lot that I'm gonna be starting in the deep end there with such a, like, brutally hard version of that kind of gimmick, but... I'm reassured by, um... Revelug's assessment there. Yo, Lord Hoyle, thank you for the heart me. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. How's it going? Yo, Lord Hoyle, thank you for the freaking galaxy. Thank you so much for the support. It really means a lot. Yo, how'd the stream go, by the way? Hope it went well. Where are you playing? Or you were playing, um, uh, MD Battlefrogs hack, uh, Dark Star something, I think? Something like that? Dark Star, yeah. How'd that go? Good attempt, good attempt. We are getting there. Oh my god, let's go. Yo, Cookie2024 from Twitch says hi to TikTok. Ooh, almost done, but the last levels are brutal. Hell yeah. Yo, Wang Wang, thank you for the uh, heart me and the rose. Appreciate that. But yeah, if you're watching on YouTube right now, by the way, the audio sadly does have to get replaced because of YouTube copyright system. Why it's too good at porting music, I swear. Yo, Jessica, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Messing that up. So I'm too afraid of dying to the uh, death block from the no block there. Right, that's a good spot. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And I dropped late. Okay. Good attempt though. We'll take it. Yo, GT. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well.
close. We got it, though. Man, that is stressful. Okay, let me, um, let me practice with save states a little bit, then. So we've got that part down. It's no longer the hardest part of the level. I feel like the hardest part of the level is going to be the very end. Okay. You heard the jump sound there, too. That's frustrating. And there again, too. Yeah, that is... Quite precise here. You also want to be sure, um... Just because the no block bumps the shell right there doesn't necessarily mean you're in the clear. You want to make sure the shell is farther to the right, ideally. So that it can actually make it across the gap. Man. Those jumps there. Yeah, because that can happen. That's what I'm talking about there with, like, making sure the shell is far enough to the right when you hit that. Oh, really? Wait, what? Why did I die to that? Hmm. So... Like, I felt like I had jumped up soon enough, but maybe not. Yeah, okay. Did I jump too high? then this is the final trick here. Is if you see the shell on the left side of the screen, we have to use all three note blocks to bump it up top, then go back to it. Um, go back to the uh, note block on the far left side of the screen, use that to kick it up and to the right, and then we'll be using it for shell jump uh, for the very, very end. Okay, okay, I think that's... Um, decent amount of progress uh, for practicing. Actually, let me go back there and practice just the ending for just a little bit. I think we've got this part down well enough. And we can drop a save state here. Okay. So this is the, uh, final trick here. And that can happen too. So, you need to be sure to bump that shell to the right when you go back to the left side there. But that would have been it. If I was able to actually kick the shell there. I was just off by like a pixel or two. Oh, what? What happened there? Huh? Is there some jank going on? That was weird. Oh god. I don't properly know how to get the right angle at that. Yeah, because you need to bounce off the note block first, then kick the shell, but I don't know how to line up the speed for that. I missed... okay. Oh. Fact that you're off screen there is messed up too. Yo, Jimmy, thank you for the rose. Anton, thank you for the heart me. Logan, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. So yeah, this is the final trick here. And it is now the hardest trick of the level, now that I've found an actual way to do the other part. So 
So yeah, can't... Can't do anything else there other than to go straight back to the note block for that. Ooh. They're gonna ideally want to be as far right on the um, note block as you can when you land, but not too far to the right that you immediately kick the shell. You want to kick the shell after it gets bumped up. Oh no, I got- oh, it's fine. So that's what you do. And then you don't do a big bounce, you do a re-grab. Like a low bounce re-grab. <sighs> okay, let's try that again. And this is practice mode, so if I get the win, it doesn't count. You need to do the whole thing from the start of the level. Like that except actually aim for the keyhole. I intentionally dodged the keyhole there because I don't wanna have to deal with the music resetting from practice mode into full attempts. Okay, well, we have everything practiced down. Now we just have to put it all together. Let's do this. Whew, feeling confident. Let's do this. That shell can be annoying sometimes, but we got it. Oh, that was weird. That was weird. I got the bounce later than I was expecting for the mid-air shell jump there. Okay. Okay, good attempt. We'll take that. Okay. Nice. Whew. Getting close to being able to use that practice that we did in an actual run and see how far we can get using that. Yeah. Again, for anyone just joining in here, the gimmick that's going on here is uh, Mario physically cannot let go of the key. Like, I can try and throw it all I want. It is physically glued to Mario's hands. And I have to bring the shells with me, but I can't grab them because I'm currently grabbing the key. So the only way to uh, actually move the shells around is by bumping them up and by kicking them around. And it, it's really awkward, but once you get it down, it looks really cool. It's a really unique level. Like, this kind of custom code ASM um, that forces you to hold on to the key the entire time makes for some really interesting setups that you don't really see in any other levels, because you don't have to do this kind of thing otherwise. You can just grab shells. Good attempt, good attempt, okay. Gotta be really, really fast and optimal with those note blocks there. Can't mess up even the slightest. 
so... Cool. Pretty close to making progress there. Yo, Jake, thank you for the shiny air balloon gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. What's with the overlapping music? I don't know what you mean overlapping. Oh, uh, TikTok does some that sometimes. You'll have to close out of the app and come back. Unless my audio is actually glitched, let me know, but I know that's a TikTok bug that happens sometimes randomly. If there's any, like, very short amount of echo going on with the uh, game audio for me, please do let me know. Audio is fine, thank you. Man, come on. So yeah, I, I think with the um, with the new strategy and with the amount of practice we were able to do today, and the consistency I'm getting at the start here, I think it's very possible that we might beat this today. We'll have to see, of course. It is a really tough level. Good attempt. Good attempt. We'll take it. Oh, we will take it. Okay. We're getting there. Is the song supposed to be this annoying? Um, if you have bad taste in music. Yes. Good attempt, okay. Okay, we are getting there. Whew, getting more and more consistent. More to more and more attempts to that point. I don't know, if you have, like, snarky negative comments about the ROM hack that I'm playing, then I'm gonna have snarky negative comments back. That's how it works. There's a lot of work that went into this hack. It's really well done. I'm not gonna let that kind of negativity slide. out of the way for now, but I do have to kick it again. There we go. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, that's fine. So I can still go here. More awkward this way, though. No! Oh, he kicked left. Come on. Good attempt, though. We're getting there. Calling something annoying is being negative. I 
I mean, you can say something like, is the music supposed to be this repetitive? Because it is repetitive, that's like an objective thing, but annoying is a completely subjective thing. Like, yeah, it's repetitive, but I like the vibe. Are you kidding me? Okay, man, I think I jumped too high. Didn't give the shell enough time to give me the midair. Yo, Laura Shankle, thank you for the 100 bits over on the Twitch, appreciate that. Is the volume a little loud for this hack? I could turn it down. Yo, Elio, thank you for the ice cream cone gifts. Appreciate that. Sounds good to me. Thank you. A little loud. I could turn it down like a decibel. I'll do that in a bit. Mainly because of the uh, note block sounds. Those can get annoying after a while, for sure. Okay, I was too low there for sure. This shell is what killed me, not the uh, death block there. All right, let me turn it down. There we go. Yo, Bob Grubbs, thank you for the hand heart. Appreciate that. Your phone has a volume button that works well. I mean, like the volume relative to the volume of my microphone. I make sure the mixing is good. It's house music, yep. And it's house music that triggers the copyright system on my YouTube channel. Why it is too dang good at porting music to the Super Nintendo. Ports are too accurate. Good attempt, good attempt, we'll take that. Man, that's a frustrating death, Jesus Christ. How'd I end up hitting under the block? That's really frustrating. on that like really sticks out quite a bit okay good attempt good attempt am i playing on a uh pc emulator i'm playing on a fancy clone console of a super nintendo called a super nt um which it is an fpga console but um 
the FPGA is acting as a 16-bit hardware chip, so calling it a 16-bit console that I'm playing on is true. Really gotta be careful to jump extra low there, but really tough to line that up. Am I streaming to YouTube right now? Just uh, Twitch and TikTok. I'll start streaming to YouTube if Twitch, uh, if TikTok gets banned. Pretty. Um, Maybe, maybe. At least, like, streaming vertical to YouTube. I know they added that and they have it, like, play sh uh, vertical streams into the shorts feed. So I might have ended up doing that on YouTube. I'm not a big fan of the uh, YouTube shorts algorithm, though. It tends to put out, like, the most op overproduced um, NPC kind of shit out there. Whereas, um... TikTok feels more like a social media site. But if TikTok gets banned, uh, I guess that's what we're stuck with. Especially because I don't want to head over to Instagram. That sounds awful. Yo, Jimmy, thank you for the fire. Appreciate that. Elio, thank you for the pumped up gift. Um, Jimmy, thank you for the roses as well. Appreciate that. Romeo, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Elio, thank you for the disco love. Really glad that I'm getting uh, really consistent runs here at the start of the level. It was really frustrating me toward the end of last stream where I was just dying in the most bullshit ways, but I've slept on it and I like literally uh, one of the purposes of sleep in general, is that your brain goes through everything you went through that day, sort of like organizes all of your memories into the right spots of the brain and um, really solidifies any sort of like muscle memory or anything that you've learned throughout the day. And so pretty much what ends up happening is while you're sleeping, you end up practicing the Kaizo level you are playing. That's like pretty much what your brain is doing. So taking the break from yesterday led to a massive improvement in consistency here. And of course that's an oversimplification I don't understand nearly as much as like a actual professional would, but it's kind of what goes on in sleep. Yo, Anton, thank you for the uh, roses. Appreciate that. Mr. Beast bought TikTok. No, he didn't. Can play Kaizo in your sleep too. TJB does it all. I don't have dreams about Mario, though, is the thing. But even despite that, the brain does its magic. Practice this at least. Okay. 
That was a really good attempt. That is progress. We will take the progress. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's go. Someone will remake TikTok. Uh, I mean, Zuckerberg already remade TikTok, and so did YouTube, but they did it worse. I think Zuckerberg is, um, incapable of making a good social media platform that isn't, like, super sanitized for advertisers and filled with loonies. I think Facebook's just a lost cause. Instagram's slightly better, but still. Super sanitized and corporate and uh, artificial. In my opinion. I haven't spent much time there. No judgment to people who do enjoy it. I don't know as much about it. Ooh, good attempt, good attempt. We'll take it. Get the shell to land in the right spot. There we go. Oh, okay. That was a good attempt. I bumped the bottom shell a little bit too um, early. So it overshot a little bit above the block that I need it to hit. No, come on. Come on, I can't get this shell to line up to the right spot, please. That was just a messy attempt. Look at how clean that was. Until then. <laughs> Other than that, that was a really clean attempt. What's my favorite Mario game? Uh, Thousand Year Door is really good. I have really good memories of that as a kid. I haven't replayed it, though. Maybe I will uh, off-stream when, when the re-release comes out. Honestly, if TikTok gets banned, it would feel kind of freeing in terms of like, I feel like I have to um, cater my choice of what I play depending on what the algorithm would work well with. Where I wouldn't really have that as much on Twitch. Because Twitch doesn't have an algorithm. It just straight up doesn't have an algorithm. It just has a following list. And follower count is like a big deal there. Yo, Ben, thank you for the rose. BDH, thank you for the love you and the rose. Appreciate that. But yeah, in terms of like Twitch, um, you can play whatever you want. And uh, if your followers don't vibe with it, then they just won't click on that stream. But then you can get back to what you were doing before and um, you'll still be fine because there's no algorithm that punishes you for it.
or would I play without the algorithm? Um, before I did, uh, TikTok stuff, there were a bunch of, like, cape hacks that I would play. Like, all of Pogio's hacks, I used to speedrun those. Those would not work well at all with the TikTok algorithm, for example. I think this is one of the hacks that does terribly with the TikTok algorithm. Um, but I'm playing it anyway, because I wanted to. Like, I don't have to constantly be, um, optimizing what I play for views and everything. I think that would take a lot from, like... Like, if I'm not having fun, then the stream itself drops in quality. The stream itself suffers. Barely nice. No! Shouldn't have regrabbed. Why did I regrab? Okay, good attempt. Good attempt. <sighs> Can't be holding jump at all for those jumps up there. Did too big a bounce off the middle note block there. That was my problem. Yeah, oh yeah, if I, um, if TikTok gets banned, then that's literally my primary source of income that would go away. I do have a decent bit of savings that I could, um, rely on for the next little while, but, like, I would be losing out on my biggest source of income. It would be devastating, but, like, thinking about it more would also be kind of freeing, and I could focus on the Twitch side and stuff like that. Of course, we'll have to see how it plays out in the courts and everything. Or even in the Senate. Yo, Cookie, thank you for the $10 donation. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Does TikTok bother you that it's ad-free? Um, the fact that TikTok streams are ad-free is, um, kind of awesome, actually. You do kind of pay for it in having, um, a lower cut of the, um, gift revenue, but that's fine. I personally really hate ads. not bounce off that man come on Ooh. yeah with twitch um either i can have pre-roll ads which is what i have right now or i can have like three minute long ad breaks every single hour that interrupt the stream both are bad options i don't want to choose between the two I could de-affiliate and make no money on Twitch, um, and have no ads, but then I'd give up all of the, um, monetization on Twitch just to get rid of ads. That's not worth it. Yo, Elio, thank you for the tiny diny. Appreciate that.
doesn't pay and you stream like five to six hours. Yeah, there's a huge luck component to uh, making it on Twitch. Man, getting a low enough jump there is so stressful. I feel like, um, I was a little slow earlier, so I had to make up for that there. I just didn't have time to. Okay, good attempt, good attempt. Yo, one trick, thank you for the 1,000 bits over on the Twitch. Thank you so much for the support, it really means a lot. That is so generous of you. Yeah, thank you so much. Wouldn't move to Twitch because of the ads, it's way too annoying. Yeah, I can get that. I might start um, streaming to YouTube if uh, TikTok gets banned. Again, I would probably only stream vertical to YouTube, which is a thing they added recently. I don't know if I would be doing the um, dual format, horizontal and vertical streams on YouTube, but YouTube has their own kind of TikTok live thing that they started, so I'd probably be doing that if TikTok gets banned. And that is ad-free. YouTube streams are all ad-free. Yo, Elio, thank you for the ice cream cones. Appreciate that. Uh, Prime doesn't get you ad-free Twitch viewing anymore. Or, sorry, um, just Prime itself. You need to actually use a Prime sub. Which you can only use on one streamer. But yeah, with uh, Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to one streamer. Um, and that's a benefit of your Prime subscription. Yo, Elio, thank you for the three pumped up gifts. That is so generous of you. Thank you so much for the support. All right, make money if it's ad free on YouTube uh, from people gifting and donating and stuff like that. On YouTube, the big thing is subscriptions and super chats. Super chats is the main big thing there. So with super chats, you send a donation and then that donation makes a message that you sent stick around in chat, like pinned in chat for a while based on how much money you sent. Oh, that was way too slow. Okay, I think I see where I'm slowing down and how I can do that better, though. I think I'm slowing down on the way down back to the note block after bumping the bottom shell. I need to speed up there. Oh, whoops. Oh, that actually just worked. Didn't mean to do it, but it worked out beautifully. Okay, this should be good. Now, I was too slow still. I don't know if I was, like, too hesitant on the D-pad and wasn't able to get P-speed as a result. I don't know. It's hard to be fast enough there.
Nice. Oh my god, that is such good progress. That is such good progress. Holy shit. Holy shit, okay. Okay. Oh, yo, Cookie, thank you for the $5 donation as well. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for your support. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's the ending in sight. Let's go. Okay, yo, Michelle, thank you for the 10 GGs. Appreciate that. And Jimmy, thank you for the high bear as well. Oh, we got this. No, you didn't ruin the attempt. I always, um, for these levels, I'm like intentionally ignoring whatever uh, gifts I get until after I die. Because I cannot, cannot split my focus mid-attempt in these specific levels here. In fact, I'm gonna credit you for uh, getting me that huge amount of progress where we have the ending in sight. Yo, uh, Biza, think from Twitch, says hi to TikTok. Beginning looks really tedious. Yeah, especially with that uh, part where I just died, where you're having to bump around both shells. <sighs> but we've gotten the hang of it to the point where it's no longer frustrating, at least for now. Got the top shell stuck, so I intentionally killed myself there. Okay. Good attempt. Good attempt. We're getting there. Okay, I got a weird late bounce off the shell there that made the entire rest of it really awkward. Cause it slowed me down a bit. And you need to be going super fast there. I tried to speed up more, but I didn't have the time. Didn't have the space. $50 if I beat it in five minutes. All right, bet. Okay, getting some really solid attempts here. Thank God for that other strategy there.
Oh, man. Okay, we are getting there. Those jumps are really brutal. And you have to do, like, four of them. Ooh, let's go. Okay. Nice. We got this. Definitely got this. I wasn't holding jump. Oh shit! What is happening? Do I have a visual cue here? I don't think I do. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Saved it. No! Good attempt! Oh my god! Oh my god, okay, we are getting there. Okay. That was such a good save. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, Elijah, thank you for the 10 GGs. Appreciate that. Man, just cannot get these shells to line up. Please. If I want to get the win, I want to. I want the attempt to look clean. I don't want to be like dying to the shell not landing in the right spot over and over and over in my clear video. That would be dumb. I'm too slow. No, I'm not. Oh, what? I guess I started running from too far left on the block, and apparently you can bonk on the side of the note block that way. Didn't fully realize that. Okay. hit the wrong side of that. There we go. Shit. There we go. Saved it. No. That's too slow. Yeah. I felt that because I let go of the D-pad trying to readjust the position of my thumb, but I need to start holding that sooner for P-speed sake. Yo, Manny Ramirez from Twitch says hi to TikTok. One minute left? Okay. I don't know how long ago that was sent either. We got just a few attempts here. With $50 on the line. Shit, really? What I do for fun when I'm not playing Mario? Uh, mainly watch YouTube. Man, just 
free start there. Yo, Elio, thank you for the pumped up gift. Appreciate that. YouTube of Mario? No. If I'm gonna watch Mario, I watch it on Twitch. Extra two minutes. If you want. Eh? Okay. Cool. Who do I watch on YouTube? Um, variety of creators. There are a lot of good ones out there. Ooh. Come on. This song's your jam. I'm not gonna turn it up, it's already pretty loud. You can turn up you can turn it up using the volume on your phone. I want to drown out my microphone. We are so close. We are so close. Oh my god. <sighs> That's two attempts now where we've gotten that far. Whew. Come on. Yo, Elio, thank you for the heart me and the pumped up. Appreciate that. Zank, thank you for the five GGs. Appreciate that. We're gonna need a hydration break. Could drink a little bit of water. see your awesome water bottle. Uh, it's just a standard water bottle, but with a Mario sticker on it. Yo, Elio, thank you for the heart me and the team bracelet. Appreciate that. Yo, Shabab, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. the one let's see we have gotten an attempt like literally right to the end there's one particular jump at the end that I died to and it's a really tricky one
Oh, come on. Nice save. No, it's stuck! This is not recoverable, sadly. I would need a way to kick the shell, but it's too far over to bump it without dying to the death blocks below it. Oh, yo, Lost Broken Soul, thank you for the heart me and the team bracelet. Appreciate that. Hate it when that happens. Man, that's the same death as last time. Yeah, you like, you just cannot hit it without also dying. Oh, come on. Yo, Manny Ramirez, thank you so much for the Prime sub over on the Twitch. Thank you so much for the support, it really means a lot. Enjoy the ad-free Twitch viewing and the adorable Jade Harley emotes. Thank you so much for the support, it means a lot. about surprise donation if I beat it within five. All right, let's see. <sighs> oh. The thing about playing uh, with save state practice like I've been doing with this hack is that the progress is not linear. It's kind of weird. But just because I've gotten super close to the end doesn't necessarily mean that I can get the win super soon. But it could also mean that it's just less likely because the progression is not linear. my thumbs. Uh, this level's actually not too bad on the hands, thankfully. I feel like I'm getting more and more used to this controller to where I'd, I'm not pressing down as hard on the buttons anymore, which is nice. Because this is a new controller that I'm not used to yet, but, well, I'm getting used to it over time. Elio, thank you for the team bracelets coming in. Appreciate that. Man. Do my controllers break easily? No. Oh, man, that part's so awkward. 
Oh, come on. Do I drink G Fuel? No. Yo, Bruce Moval, thank you for the heart me, appreciate that. I'm I'm gonna make it absolutely clear. If I ever drink any sort of um G fuel, any sort of gamer energy fuel drink powder, um the only reason that I would do that is because I'm uh, sponsored and making money from it. That, that would be the only reason that I do it. Only for the money. I just personally don't think it would be worth getting that kind of energy drink otherwise. Oh, come on. Good attempt. Good attempt. Yo, Elio, thank you for the game controller. Appreciate that. Yo, Anton, thank you for the 10 cheer ups as well. there are you kidding are you kidding come on come on how long have I been attempting this level uh, probably about three four hours I think more around three or so I dropped energy drinks in um in order to get into coffee instead. Cuz coffee isn't loaded with sugar and all other kinds of artificial sweeteners. I mean it can be depending on how you like your coffee. But if you're drinking coffee black, then that's a lot a hell of a lot more healthy than any kind of energy drink. I jumped too high. Ooh. Do I drink black coffee with no sugar? Yeah. It does definitely depend on the uh, roast and the brew and all of that. Whether drinking black coffee actually tastes good or not. Yo, Elio, thank you for the game controller. Shabab, thank you for the game controller as well. Appreciate that. Going a little slow there, so I tried to speed up at the wrong spot, though. It's not a 
place you can speed up and save time. Whew. Yo, Solve, welcome on in. You're demolishing this hack, good luck. Yeah, thank you. You're three levels down, uh, two to go here. We've gotten um, right up to the ending of this level as well. Part's really awkward. Do I have a save state there? I don't. Okay. Uh, this is one of the levels that I was like afraid of and um, really made me. hesitant to play the hack, specifically because of this part. Like, I was, I think, watching Glitch at the time? I'm not entirely sure, but... I was watching someone, like, struggling with how awkward it is to juggle both of these shells at the same time. It was really messed up. Oh. Are you kidding me, man? Good attempt, though. Second easiest level? Interesting. Yeah, at the end of last stream, I was struggling so much just trying to get the shells to... Uh, getting the note blocks to do their thing, getting the shells into the right spot for the note blocks to work with them and everything. I was getting really demotivated from it, but... Today we have the consistency back, at least. Wait, that's salvageable. No, that's not salvageable. So you'd have to kick the shell, but... Can't do that without dying to the blue death block. I tried! It was way too far over to the right. Maybe it's possible sometimes, but definitely not that time. That's an awkward, uh, awkward movement there. You know, Martin, thank you for the three roses. Elio, thank you for the hat and mustache. Appreciate that. enough. 
perfect. Are you kidding me? How was that too slow? Come on. Oh, good attempt though. Some good saves there too. kidding me? That was too slow too? Really? I did that so well. Are you kidding? Jesus, that's tight. Oh. What? Really? Now that's... Oh! That's just barely by a pixel. Still makes it. Nice. No, I, I definitely would have made it. Uh, I got a later bump on the shell, the bottom shell. So I had extra time to work with there. Um, so if I had actually survived that jump that I died to there, I definitely would have gotten there in time. That definitely would have worked. this part. Man. There goes the shell I need. Good attempt, though. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Ooh. We're just looking 10 out of 10 as usual. Yeah, thank you. Start. Are you kidding me? No! I got the no block glitch and it kept me stuck to the ground. Man, are you kidding? That is annoying, Jesus Christ. Oh. Good attempt though. Oops. 
Uh, are you kidding? I hit that too soon. Do you have to be careful of that? Because even if I hit it sooner, but it still hits the block, it's going to make it harder to keep up with the shell at the next part. So I ideally want to hit it as late as I can get away with. But it's really, really got to be careful and find just the right balance. Don't overcorrect. That keeps happening to me where I'm a frame too late. Oh my god. The way I do the middle part with the two shells is whack. How do you do it? Because I'm doing it um, the way that Revelug did it just about, except faster. Your strat's easier. I don't know what your strat is. Oh, unless you're talking about... Unless you're talking about this specific trick right here. I like the way that I do it. I I didn't really take everything from Revelug there. I just kind of messed around and found what worked for myself. And it seems to work consistently. I'm sticking with it. Oh. Is your vid up on YouTube? Or on Twitch? Set the uh, bottom shell up on that Mars bar. It lines up so that you can bump it and stop it immediately. Yeah, I found that like you can do that, but it you don't really need to, so I don't do that. Because then I'm afraid I'd die to the Mars bar. But it, the thing about that as well is that you do risk bumping the shell too soon, which then makes the next part more tight. But there is a trade-off there. Yeah. I needed to go extra fast there, because again, I got the early kick on that bottom shell. Uh, yeah, you can post links in chat. I don't have that blocked. I think I'll be sticking to the way I've been doing it, but it would be interesting to see how you do it. Yeah, or you can post it in chat, with it, whatever you want. I could pull up the uh, clip on stream for those who are curious. 
Yo, Ingrid, thank you for the heart me. And Snowcone Steve Austin, thank you for the heart me as well. Appreciate that. Izzy, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. That part is so annoying. Yo, Jimmy, thank you for the friendship necklace and the Rosa. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for support. Jump too soon? No, I don't think that would be a thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I'm pretty sure I hit the note block too soon. I don't know. That's a really annoying death to deal with. Oh, come on, yo, Ingrid. Thank you for the heart me. Uh, damn Rebel Justin, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. So this is a uh, shell escort mission level here. I have to bring the shells with me, but this key is glued to Mario's hands and he physically cannot let go of the key. So because Mario's hands are full here, he can't hold on to the shells. He can't carry the shells around. The only way to move the shells is with these coin blocks, note blocks, and uh, by kicking them. That is so annoying. Oh, come on. I see the cool achievement by Team Zero Percent. Um, yeah, they're down to one level left. Trimming the herbs is gonna take a good while though. I, I give it like at least a full week. I had so much extra space to work with there and just threw it away. Ooh, good attempt though. We'll take it. 
Time for TJB to get out the Wii U. I have never played Mario Maker 1. Shell's just stuck up there. Yep. If anything would have saved it, it would have been that. Oh my god, wait! Oh my god! Oh my god! You can save it! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I really hope this is the win. Nope. <laughs> Oh man, that's a good clip right there. Oh my god. So it is salvageable, that's good to know. Wow. Yo, Ingrid, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Whole lot of heart me's. Stitch that into the wind clip. I don't think that would fit with the TikTok format. Yo, damn rebel Justin, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Have you missed any fruit dealer attempts? Um, last stream. Did you catch what happened last stream? You were here for the eight wins? Hell yeah. jump literally a frame too late because you heard the jump sound actually no i think the jump sound plays regardless of whether you're on a um note block or not and that doesn't tell you anything about how many frames late you were oh come on this shell is so annoying But yeah, yesterday we got a streak of Fruit Dealer wins. The hardest Super Mario World boss fight ever made. Beat it eight times in a row, which is double the previous world record. Good attempt, we'll take it. Okay. Whew. Those jumps are really precise.
Come on. Good attempt. Everything in the second half, well, basically everything in the level is really precise. Don't need any qualifiers there. It's all really precise. Yo, Mateo, welcome on in. Thank you for the five GGs, appreciate that. Is smoking bad for you? Generally, yes. Vaping too. Oh crap, uh, I mentioned it out loud. Uh, TikTok, please don't punish me. Eight in a row on Fruit Dealer, maybe the next incentive needs to be blindfolded. That blindfolded will never happen. There's no, um, there's no walls to rub against or anything to actually know where you're actually standing while blindfolded there. It is simply not possible. Simply have TAS do the inputs. Exactly. That's the only way it's possible, is to TAS it. That's it. If blindfolded fruit dealer is possible, then that means that humans have been able to um, play back a perfect TAS. That's the only possible way that that could happen, is by playing back an exact perfect TAS. And if you're capable of that, why the hell are you playing blindfolded fruit dealer? Yeah, this is still the possibility of an island. Yeah, let's not uh let's not focus on that topic. I don't want TikTok to like de-boost me or whatever for talking about it. I know they're pretty strict about substance is discussions. Yo, Claudia, thank you for the rose. Appreciate that. Yeah, you're good. You're good. No. Good attempt otherwise. Ooh. <sighs> mm. 
No. That's unfortunate. Oh, thank God. Say wait. No, man. Really? No blocks are so janky, man. Yo, Link, thank you for the roses. Appreciate that. Oh, really? Okay, stats. Thank you for the roses. Appreciate the support. <sighs> yeah, the eight wins in a row for the fruit dealer fight. That was just insane. I don't know. I don't know how that happened, honestly. I don't think it'll ever happen again. That's what I'm afraid of if I leave that on top of the death block there. I kicked that too soon. No, it's fine. It's fine. No! I was too afraid of um, trailing behind the shell down there too much, so I didn't want to flick too hard there. Oh. Should have flicked harder. Okay, this is salvageable. It's farther over to the left than it was before as well. But it's only barely salvageable. You need the perfect angle. Yeah, no. <sighs> Again, only barely salvageable. We got insanely lucky that one time. Kind of a fluke. Whew. Isn't that right at the end? Uh, it's about two thirds of the way through the level. Oh, come on. Come on! <sighs> Hate it when the shells just get stuck. That was such a dumb death, really. Thank you, Shell.
No! Oh, the fact that that's an off-screen jump is so messed up. Man, that was such a good attempt. Okay, we are getting there. Oh my god, okay. That's the ending right there that I just died to. Just have to get back there and do it right this time. Yeah, that was a really good run. No! Oh, it's fine. I landed in a good spot. Except that I messed it up. Oh! No! Messed it up horribly. Okay. Let's get a nice, clean start here, ideally. I don't think we can- oh, we can! Except, no, that's a really bad idea, because then that happens. Okay, that's much better. Much better. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I hit that no block too soon. Shell needs to be farther over to the right to cross the gap fully like that. Oh, cool. Okay, there we go. That's a good lineup. Thank god we have this part consistent. I thought, like, it would have been literally impossible to get that part consistent, but I was wrong. Okay, we can at least practice this. So, yeah. That's what we need the shell for. That's why we bring it all the way from the start. It's because we need it for the final shell jump there. No! Okay, good attempt, good attempt. Yo, Jimmy, thank you for the two finger hearts and the fire, appreciate that. No! Okay, so now... Yeah, that shell up top there is just stuck. There's nothing I can do. I've gotten better at that, though. It's, um, I figured out the way to prevent that from happening pretty much all of the time, unless I'm doing poorly. No! I 
think I could have made that if I just held right. Did the turn back there out of habit, because, like, usually you need to. Oh, come on. Really? Less than 50 attempts away? Possibly, yeah. Like, we've gotten to the ending so many times. You might be right. Okay. Like... <sighs> okay. Something got into me there that, like... It just felt awkward and I couldn't really... control my inputs as good as I usually can for some reason there. Like, the pressure got to me there, I think. so hard to kick that shell. Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. <sighs> oh, please. Oh my god, that was close. No! That's tough. Ooh. Come on. soon. Yo, Mecca, thank you for the heart me. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Ooh, we are so close to getting this, man. So freaking close. awkward. Yeah. Oh, 
Come on. Yo, Jive Turkey Punk from Twitch says hi to TikTok. How do I decide what to play next? Haven't you asked that question like a hundred times? Or is that different people asking that same exact question? I decide to play what looks fun to me. Close, close. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yo, Paula B, thank you for the eight TikToks. Appreciate that. <sighs> Which level did I enjoy the most? Um, Dreams of Toast. Why'd I do that? It didn't need to be that fast. I had extra time to spare there. Come on. Watching this live is intense. Just imagine how it feels playing this live. That's why I don't like intentionally setting it up there, because that happens a lot to me. sucks. The save! The save! We got it again! Oh my god! <sighs> oh my god, let's go. Oh, good attempt, though. We'll take that. Man, imagine if that was the one, though. That's such a precise save. Like, I didn't even know it was possible until I pulled it off in one attempt. the wrong coin block. So now the shell's gone. Yo, CJ, thank you for the pumped up gift and the 50 GGs. Appreciate that. And Paula, thank you for the eight TikToks.
Oh, that's not gonna work. Uh, maybe if I had a little more confidence. Maybe that could have worked. I don't know. Like, I hid that shell on the way up. I thought that would have gone... gone by too quickly that I couldn't catch back up to it. But maybe it would have been fine. Weird bounce there. Do my fingers hurt? No. Oh. Yeah, you can't jump back up there. Yo, Revelug! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome on in, everybody, from Revelug stream. Hope you're all doing well. How's it going? What were you playing? Oh, you got a speedrun in Alabama Beach Mouse! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. If I, um, if I beat this quickly enough, I'm gonna try a uh, speedrun of that myself to see how our times compare. Because that's really exciting. Love having competition. I haven't done like a um, timed speed run on stream yet. But I did do some practicing and got like a hour-ish time off stream when I wasn't keeping a timer or recording going. Kona Odo got a 15 minute time. That's awesome. What I really want is to beat the dev time. I want to beat Marvis's time. That's my goal. That's my long term goal. Come on, and get you a shout out real quick. Tricks are honestly surprisingly consistent with some visual cues. Yeah, yeah, I was practicing a bit. Um, when I was practicing though, that was around the time that my controller got busted. And so I was having a lot of trouble with the uh, Marvis drops. So I'm on a new controller now. It feels different on this controller, but we'll see how it goes. Is there a leaderboard up for Alabama Beach Mouse? Because I would love if so. There needs to be one. Oh, come on. I think it's just Eden and Marvis. Yeah, and now you. And then it'll be me next, so that's four people speedrunning it. I think that's reason enough to have a leaderboard. We've gotten a good number of attempts right up to the ending here, and I just wasn't able to uh, get the kick 
on the last shell. That shell kick at the end is really tough, especially. Man, because you have to hit that as late as you can. Oh, to make sure that the shell is far enough to the right to cross the gap there, but it is possible to hit it too late as well. It's really frustrating. You know, Mecha, thank you for the game controller. I really appreciate that. Thanks so much for support. What's the song name? Uh, this is... Save Our Soul by, um... What's his name? salvageable. Oh, um, Revelog, you missed the save that I did. Fuck, it's possible to save that. <laughs> it's actually possible. What's PB? Literally the final jump. Well, um, PB is not, like, getting everything down except for the final shell kick. And we got that twice. Should have jumped higher there. Ooh, yo, care. Thank you for the rose. Appreciate that. This level really isn't that bad if you aren't using your poopy strat. Yeah, like once I stopped using that strat, it's gotten so much more consistent. It's insane. Yo, damn Rebel Justin, thank you so much for the epic GG gift. Really appreciate that. All right, after this attempt. Okay. So we got an incentive going on whenever someone sends a epic GG gift through the TikTok. I'll be doing a few attempts at the hardest Super Mario World boss fight ever made. The Fruit Dealer boss fight from Cooler Cruel Stage 12 Tubular. And this boss fight was never even meant to be humanly possible. The way you're supposed to play it is with a buttload of save states. So like quick saves and quick loads mid fight. As it turns out, it's just barely, barely possible without. So let's give this a shot here. This attempt is for Damn Rebel Justin. Thank you so much for the epic GG gift. Really appreciate that. Support really means a lot. Oh yeah, the song for the last level was Bob Sinclair, Save Our Soul. That's right.
Still got it. Still got it. Let's go. Easy one shot. Hell yeah. Thank you again, damn Rebel Justin, for the epic GG gift. Really appreciate that. And let's do another here for Claudia. See if we can get two in a row. After we get the Koopa jump, optionally. Not quite. That was a good lineup for it. I just hesitated too much. Yo, K stats, thank you for the roses. Appreciate that. All right, now this attempt here is for Claudia. Let's see if we can get two in a row. I don't think we'll be having the same luck as yesterday. Let's see if we get it. Yeah, thank you so much, Claudia, by the way, for the epic GG gift. Really appreciate it, that. That is so generous of you. Thank you so much. This was for a bet, yeah. Wasn't sure what the bet was, but... Saw that. And obviously, if we get two in a row, we're gonna keep going until the streak ends. Nope! Don't get two in a row. Alright, let's at least get the win for Claudia here. <laughs> I think I got distracted there. But yeah, then we'll head back to the other level. Yeah, jinxed it there. Did I beat that level? Now we're doing a little bit of a break here, but we're super close to beating that level. We'll get back to it. Let's practice the ending a little bit first. Be just because of that um, shell kick at the very end being like really stupid precise. I'm gonna give it a few more practice runs until we actually go for full attempts again. You're becoming unlucky. Yeah, like uh, the one time that I got three in a row, your luck absolutely came in clutch there. I think it was just that, um, I was getting complacent and getting myself distracted there. Yeah. This- this fight needs a whole lot of focus here. Yo, okay, K-Stats, thank you for the eight roses and Chingone. Thank you for the GG's coming in, appreciate that. would be really fun for people to watch. Yeah, that's why I'm submitting it to Summer Games Done Quick. Yo, Chingon, thank you for another GG. Yo, have a good one, Ingrid. Great seeing you here. Oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? I'm getting too distracted. I'm not focusing enough. <sighs> okay, let's actually get this this time. Let's actually focus. Get comfortable. Let's do this. Yo, Miguel, thank you for the finger heart in the fire. Appreciate that. <sighs> Alright, no more distractions. Only focusing. Thank you. 
There we go. There we go. Let's go. Thank you again, Claudia, for the epic GG gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. All right, see if we get the optional Koopa bounce too. Again, we beat the boss fight, that's what matters. This jump here is harder than anything in the fight itself, but we got it. Orb, let's go. Yo, Tony time, thank you for the three game controllers. Really appreciate that. Justin, thank you for the 10 GGs. Appreciate the support, thank you so much. Okay, okay. So be sure not to press save here, because that corrupts the save if I do it like right before power cycling. I think that's what causes the um, save corruption. All right. Let's get back to it. Let's do this. Yo, oh snap. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Tori Lynn, thank you for the pumped up gift. Appreciate that. Let's do this. Cool. Let's do this. So yeah, uh, for anyone who missed it earlier, this level has a bit of custom code going on that changes how the game works. And what's happening here. Um, Mario physically cannot let go of the key. It is glued to his hands. And you need to um, bring these shells with you. But the only way to do that, because you can't grab onto them and carry them around, is to bump them around and kick them around. Okay, that was a really good first attempt. Okay, let me uh, do some practice runs here. This is in practice mode, so it doesn't count. Yo, Bob Grubbs, thank you for the heart me and the game controller. Appreciate that. So this is the ending of the level here. This specific shell kick at the end is messed up. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, hello? Janky hack, mate. I guess there would be a way to save it. You respawn all three of the shells on the right. That's how you do it. And then you need an actual good re-grab there. Again, that's practice mode, so the wind doesn't count, but that's what I want to do at the end of the level. Yeah, that's the problem, is that freaking happens. Come on. 
Actually, wait, yeah, okay. Okay, that's twice. Not in a row, but twice. That jump there is so off screen, man. So yeah, that's the thing. But I can respawn all three of those shells. Getting better at that. Oh my god, I overshot the re-grab. I really hope that doesn't happen in a full attempt. That's so annoying! Like, I do everything right, and sometimes it just doesn't work, so I have to redo this whole part and then mess it up. Oh, right. Okay, I'd say that's consistent enough. Let's go for full attempts. Let's do this. Whew. Again, that was practice mode, which is why I didn't put the key in the key holder. Because for the actual win, we're going to have to do it from the start without dying. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Oh, you're kidding me. Good attempt. Okay, we're getting there. Really? <sighs> Do shopping- did shopping malls play house music? Maybe. I don't know, I haven't been to a mall in forever. Malls are dying out. They used to be a big thing. Like the whole American staple. I'm not sure if Amazon is what killed them. Or just the fact that malls are kind of a weird concept to begin with. Oh, come on. How many levels are left? This one and one more. Um, the input level. that death so much man that is so frustrating when you just hit the wrong coin block man
Oh. Yeah, glad you enjoy the streams. Ooh, come on. Of course. Please. Nope, of course. Not even worth it. Prefer fresh air over malls. Yeah, well, the thing is, a lot of the time, in America specifically, fresh air means parking lots. It's not that preferable. Car dependency just sucks in general. America's a horrible, horrible offender at that. This is salvageable, technically. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Let's go! Buy rights! <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, let's go! Oh man, that was such a sick level. Oh, feels good. Hell yeah. Yo, Jimmy, thank you for the high bear. Damn Rebel Justin, thank you for the 20 GG's. Oh snap, thank you for the GG's coming in. Corny, thank you for the GG's. Thanks for all the GG's in chat as well. Really appreciate that. Yo, know, Tori Lynn, thank you for the game controller. Corny, thank you for the three GG's. Mechit, thank you for the 10 GG's. Paula, thank you for the 20 GG's. Bradley, thank you for the 12 chilies. RH Maximus, thank you for the 100 bits. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Don't forget to move on the overworld. That's a good idea. I mean, we can always save state back to get it back, but yeah, let's go. Did I beat the blue level? Yeah. Ugh, let's go. Yo, Olivier, thank you for the 100 bits. Really appreciate that. Lorenzo, thank you for the two fires. Appreciate that. Okay, well. We have this next level to start on, but I promised Revelug that I would do uh, an attempt at a Beach Mouse speedrun. Do I have my... I don't have it configured right now. Okay, let me see. Uh, let's see. Live split one. Hopefully this works. Oh god. I would need to, um... One second. Splits. Uh, home Tyler stream. Uh, live split one. Uh, not that. Level. Yes. Layout. Level. No. Wait. I think. Wait. Layout. Level clear. Height. 200. Width. 500. Uh, height 140. There we go. Then put it in the shared group here. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Let's do a speed run. Right, okay. Doesn't have a Mario Luigi select here. Let's do a speed run here. Let's do this.
No practice or anything. This is just first run ever. Wait. No, my my hotkeys don't work for life split. Shit. Uh, hotkeys. Life split. Uh, oh, come on. Life split one. Uh, split. That. Numpad one. There we go. Apply. Um. Reset. Numpad three. Um. Undo split. Numpad eight, I think. I think that's the main ones I need. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Erase that. Here we go. Let's do an actual speed run now. There we go. Now we got the speed run timer going. Let's do this. Uh, let's start on the spring level, why not? Let's do this. Ooh, okay. So yeah, I'm doing a speed run here. Um, I have beaten these levels before. I'm trying to beat them again, but very quickly. way far over to the left, really awkward. Did I beat it? I did. Oh, come on. I did beat it. Oh, the whole hack? No, I didn't beat the whole hack, but I beat the level. Did I say the creator beat this in under eight minutes? Yes. We're, we're a ways away from that. That's a long-term goal. Come on, yo, Garrett. Thank you for the rose. Nior, thank you for the uh, game controller. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, these are copper fit gloves. Oh, I threw that up way too early. Let's go! Okay, first level down. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, okay. Off to a good start. Did take a while before I warmed up there. Maybe it would have been good to do warms, uh, warm up, but let's do the P-switch level now.
No, it glitched in the switch. Are you kidding me? Oh, you're kidding me. I died to a glitch. Good old Super Mario World jank. Yo, Jimmy, thanks for the gifts coming in. Appreciate that. Somehow didn't have enough height there. I don't know why. Oh, I think it's because of the green shell bounce. I want to make sure to land on top of the green shell rather than having it run into me from the side. Something like that. Oh, come on. Man, if only that first attempt didn't die to the glitch. Would have been a sick one shot. Am I a trans man? No. Close, close. Okay. I threw up the uh, red shell too early. <sighs> Come on. So amazing. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Very frustrating deaths there. Come on. Really? Sound love the sound of the level. Really satisfying. It's so good. Love this hack. Such good vibes to it. <sighs> Come on. Always loved my lives. Thank you. Should have, okay. Because you need a very specific trajectory to actually be able to land on the green shell down there. Is that a red shell? It's a red shell. Yeah, because that can happen. You gotta be careful of that, is the thing. Yeah, I beat the last level. No! Down button, please. I'm not getting enough distance there is the problem. Oh! Okay, that's not the problem that time. That time I just started holding down too late. Despite the fact that I had enough distance. 
Yeah, I don't know why I'm bad with the uh, down input there. I was pretty far left there. Yeah, what is happening all of a sudden? I could start the run over. I'm gonna start the run over. Now that I'm warmed up for this hack, start the run over. How long am I doing this ROM hack for? I'm trying to get a speedrun in. I don't have a speedrun time for this yet, and I want one. Am I gonna end stream after I speedrun this? Yes. Okay, let's start with the uh, spring level again, and then we'll go to the P-switch level. Same order as last time. Good attempt, good attempt, okay. Oh god. Well, I got the spring jumps, but that middle one was awful. <sighs> did I beat the uh, sticky keys level? I did. restart <sighs> mine as well because like I'm going for a speed run and the time starts at file select so if I haven't beaten a level yet then when I keep dying like that in the first level of the run might as well restart Once I get out of, uh, out of the spring level, though, I'm gonna stick to just the, just that, w no resets from that point on. Like, that's gonna be the run. isn't letting me clip. Yeah, Twitch is glitchy about that sometimes for some reason. I don't know why. Please. Thank you. 
Yes! Yes! Let's go! Okay. Got a solid start here. Let's do this. Cool! Let's do this. Okay. See if we can get a nice run on the uh, P-Switch level 2 to follow that up. A good run though. Good first attempt. Got a run going. Let's go. Whoo, hell yeah. Hell yeah, okay. All right, now one of the hardest levels of the hack. Yo, create ink with pink. Thank you for the heart puff gifts. Appreciate that. Really good first run. Okay, we got this. Okay. Man, getting enough height there is really wonky. Which flash cart do I use? Uh, I personally have a SD to SNES. It's not really necessary to get the ultra fancy one. Or sorry, it's called an FX Pack Pro. Same product, different, uh, different name, but same product. One second. I did a midair. Are you kidding me? No! I did a no P speed midair instead of the right thing there. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Super Everdrive um, will do the job for 90% of hacks. It's that 10% that uh, you'd get an SD to SNES or an FX Pack Pro for. Uh, I have an FX Pack Pro. I sabotaged myself. I threw it away. Okay, I... <laughs> did I do atomize? I did. Welcome back, Solve. I died here from accidentally doing a no-p-speed midair at the end. 
My TJB instincts came in. Got in the way. Found an SD to SNES for 130? You need to buy that. What the fuck? That is so cheap. That's like half its retail price. Uh, an SD to SNES is uh, the same thing as an FX Pack Pro. Yo, Flip's bad. Thank you for the good luck. Appreciate it. Uh, Revelug rated in saying that he got a uh, half hour time on this hack. So now I want a time like that. Uh, yeah, SD to SNES, um, it's basically the same thing as an FX Pack Pro. Technically, an FX Pack Pro has a more powerful processor, but there's nothing that actually uses that more power, so it does exactly the same things. Um, and 130 is like half its retail price of 200 something. Obviously, make sure it's a legit seller and everything. There we go. I don't know why I messed up the ending so bad so many times there. Nice. Am I speed running? I am. The timer's at the bottom right. How many exits is this? Five. Uh, in the speedrun here, we've beaten three so far. Did I say five? Seven. I meant to say seven. I'm kind of focused on the level. So I don't even know what I said. Break on this opening. Give me that breakthrough. Come on. Oh, I did say five out loud. That's funny. That's the other hack I was playing. Like I was thinking seven, but I said five for some reason. My mouth didn't listen to my brain. Did its own thing. No! I missed the Marvis drop! That was such a good attempt! Okay, okay. That's literally the end right there. We got this. Yeah, because uh, my mouth has the muscle memory of answering that question over and over for uh, the possibility of an island, so... That's what came out, apparently.
Yo, home Dave, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Doing a nice little speed run here. My first speed run of this hack ever. And we're just about halfway through the hack. Yo, home Dave, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Come on. Gonna do a midair with the Goomba again? Maybe. I'm gonna go for the drop, though. Okay, I'm... Hmm. Dropping down too quickly. Oh, that was close. That's why I'm dropping down too quickly, because otherwise it's harder to grab the green shell there. Never imagined this being speed ran. Definitely the goat. Thank you. Just doing like a single speed run first, um, in between levels. But then after we're done with the possibility of an island, we're gonna actually commit to the grind and start doing more runs of this. I wanna see how low I can get the time down to. Oh, really? Eat now, you're not eating since yesterday. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't been streaming 24 7. In the Discord general, if the SD to SNES you've seen is legit. Um, after stream. It should look like a Super Famicom cartridge, if you know what those look like. And it should have like a nuclear bomb kind of um, artwork on the front. And then a SD card slot on the top. That's what that one looks like. No! Up button. How much do they pay you to play this game? Um, they don't pay me anything. Y'all pay me. In gifts on TikTok. That was weird. This was a hard level. It still is. <laughs> Definitely still is. Oh my god. Come on. That should have counted as a shell grab for the green shell. Come on. Man, I'm really getting stuck on this one. I mean, it was bound to happen at some point in the run. You missed it? Yeah, you did. Doing a quick little speed run of this hack before ending stream. Oh! 
good attempt. Okay. Okay. Just hesitated on the shell jump a little bit. Everything else was good. Oh, we got this. Um, the trick to not being angry at these levels is to have fun. Legitimately. Like, I'm having too much fun with this to be angry. Like, oh no, I'll be able to play a really fun level for even longer because I died. What a nightmare. Like, I'm enjoying the grind. When I die, that means I get to enjoy it for longer. I don't know why I keep getting that comment so much. Um, guys and girls can be friends without anything romantic going on. No! Missed the Marvis drop again, man. <sighs> Did I beat the other level? I did. I hate it when I don't get the grab on the green shell like that. Like, it doesn't feel like there's much I can do about it. Thought I beat this a couple nights ago. This was a couple weeks ago. Um, but I'm speedrunning it now. You can see the timer at the bottom right. Man, come on. Really? Why am I not getting the grab on the green shell? Why is this happening to me? I I don't actually know why that happens. I'm probably too high up, but like Is it really possible to be lower and still make it? Hmm. And is it... I don't... Hmm. No! Okay. That one was my fault. Classic up toss. Or it could have been my controller's fault, but either way. Wasn't, wasn't the level's fault. But, uh, what game is good to start for playing Kaizo? Um, Claudia just answered you. And I agree with Claudia's answer. My god. This run is dead. I really wanted a half hour time. I mean, technically, I can still get it. Yeah, like, the green shell just not... The green shell is just not ending up in my hands for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I think... Hmm. I think it's based on how I do the, um... The Marvis drop with the shell bob bomb split there. 
right there. I think I need to optimize that as much as possible to make everything else line up right. Like this should... Yes, that was a lot better. Okay, and I threw the green shell too late that time. Or too early. Am I speedrunning Alabama Beach Mouse? I am. Really? Just every single death here, pretty much, has been just completely blocking me from getting to the rest of the level. Because I can't grab the freaking green shell there. God damn it. I beat one level from Island, um, or sorry, I beat four levels from it total by now. But, uh, I heard that Revelog got a time in this hack, and now I want one too. Hate that. Man, it keeps happening. I don't know why. It must be that I'm... I need to do the part before it better. Like the, that's the only logical explanation there. What's his time? Uh, a little under a half hour. I really want to reset the run, but also this is my first speed run. There's going to be mistakes. Leave myself time to improve. Did Revelug practice? Probably. Like, that's the thing, is, um... I've been rusty at this, uh, for a week. And this is a new controller that I've never played this hack on. I'm putting myself at a bit of a disadvantage here. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to drop it. Good attempt. Okay. <sighs> this isn't a practice run, this is a speed run. Ah, hello. Like, my first goal here is to get a sub-hour run, and we're well on pace for that. There it is! Nice! Actually remembered what to do that time. Let's go. Hell yeah. Alright, sub uh sub 30 is dead, but what was Kana Odo's time? Like 45 minutes? I completely forget. Fort Morgan, let's do this. Yo, Jeff, thank you for the GG. Appreciate that. Yeah, this one has that infamous, uh, shell drop right at the start here.
Come on. Yep, yep, that's the one. That shell drop there at the very start, right here. That is messed up. <laughs> It's one of the hardest tricks in the entire hack. Is doing the shell drop into those on-off switches right there. Close. Okay. Okay. I was a little hesitant on the Marvis drop there is the thing. Let's go. If anyone can have a sub 30 run, it's you. Well, you can see the timer. That's not happening today. We still have two more levels left after this one. Man. Okay, good attempt though. That's unfortunate. Okay. What's the world record? Uh, the world record is by the creator himself, Marvis J. Um, because he's the one create who created it, he has a head start in terms of practicing every obstacle very thoroughly. So, with that head start, uh, by now he's gotten an eight minute time. Sub eight minute, sorry. My long-term goal is to eventually beat that, but it's going to be a ways away. Oh, come on. Had a weird kind of slowdown there. Messed me up. Think it'll be sooner than I think. Yeah, probably. I'm a pretty good shell speedrunner. I mean, Mario's got like a kind of monkey like tail. And Mario's moving so fast, it can be hard to pay attention to what his face looks like. No, it 
it happened again. Man, I'm always so hesitant for that shell drop, because, like, I don't have enough distance, it looks like, so I try and do the tiniest little turn back absolute possible, but... It's not, not gonna work like that. I need more distance so I can feel more comfortable doing, like, a harder turn back there. No! It keeps happening. Okay, I have the distance there, actually. I don't know why I'm so hesitant, then. Like, I did it right there, but I missed the, um the other shell bump before it, so I... It didn't count for anything. Is this a new ROM hack? It came out just a month or so ago. A little more than that. Oh, come on! How'd that not hit the switch? That's not fair. We're right at the switch. Let's go! Let's go! Okay! That's what? Yeah, five levels down, two to go. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do this one first. all the hacks that I've played, what's my favorite? This one. Man. Hello? Can you let me grab it, please? Yo, 4869, thank you for the heart, me and the Rosa. Appreciate that. Those last couple attempts, I threw the green shell a little bit too late. Or was that a blue shell? Whatever shell it was. Yo, Ale, thank you for the GG's coming in. Appreciate that. Gotta drop down a little faster there. Ooh, 
let's go. Okay. Nice. Beautiful attempt. Okay. It's a little late on the bounce for that shell. Right, I forgot to up toss the green shell. Yeah, do that slightly sooner than I did the inputs for there. Yo, Vernon, welcome on in. Attack is so cool to watch. It's so fun to speedrun. How's it going, Beachin? This is a speed run. Yeah, you can see the timer at the bottom right. Most speed runs consist of more than one level. This is a warm-up speedrun. Yes, it is, actually. Though I will be ending stream after I finish this run, and then next stream I'll be, um... Probably starting with the, uh... Final level of possibility of an island. Rather than this. Ooh! Close! Close! Okay! Okay! Ooh, does the Super NT have an HDMI output? Yes, that's why I'm using it. Yo, Mary Lou, thank you for the heart me, appreciate that. But Super NT is discontinued and scalpers pay charge a buttload of money, so I wouldn't recommend it. Yo, MK, thank you for the rose, appreciate that. Dropped it too late. Yo, MK, thank you for another rose. Ah, uh, the blue shell didn't get bumped up there, and I'm not sure why. Are you kidding? That should have made it. Come on. We'll get back there. Under eight minutes can't be beaten, surely. Well, it was accomplished in the first place, so... If it was done in the first place, it can be beaten.
How's this compared to Baron? This is much harder. Though if you've beaten Baron, I think you're probably ready for this. Of course, it'll be a massive grind, but... That's what you want to do. How much harder? You've done Baron, but this seems like a big step up. Uh, this is about four times harder. I don't know. Yo, Ethan, thank you for the heart me and the 30 team bracelets. Appreciate that. Ethan, thank you for the uh, team bracelets and all that coming in. I'm going to focus on the run here once. Yeah, I, I'm getting too many gifts and I can't read them mid speed run. I was holding my breath there like, oh no, is I, am I going to be too low? <sighs> nice. Okay, one level left. Yeah, I was really scared for the height there. Alright, last level. This is my first ever speedrun of this, by the way. Yo, Brianna, thank you for the heart puffs. Appreciate that. I think, oh snap. Yeah, sent a team bracelet. Brianna sent a 10 more heart puffs. Okay, I'm... Uh, Matthew, thank you for the heart me as well. All right, no more reading gifts. Gotta focus. How quickly can I beat SMW? I don't know. I don't speedrun it. I'd need to learn the strategies and uh, learn the speed run and everything and get a good time before I could tell you. Unless you're talking like in terms of right now without any extra preparation. Then I still wouldn't know because I've uh, never done an 11 exit run of Mario World. Is this a speed run? Yes, there's a timer at the bottom right corner of the screen. Don't shells usually F? The normal Mario games feel too slow or too easy for me? Uh, to an extent. I mean, like, they're very different games. Like, the base game versus the mods. Very, very different playing experience. So if I'm playing the original Mario, it's not because I want to play levels like this, it's because I want to play original Mario levels. Sometimes in the, I'm in the mood for that. Okay, I did the uh, up toss before that part a little bit too early. That was a really good run. <sighs> is this the last level? It is. Yes. Come on. 
this PB for me. I mean, I have never completed a speedrun of this before in my life, but also the, uh, the run isn't over yet. I wouldn't be able to tell you until after the run. But this is my first speedrun, so whatever I get, that'll be the personal best. Got too much height there, and mm, that setup is so awkward. I don't know the right way to set that up for consistency. Um, I don't know if it was under an hour, it's roughly an hour. I didn't keep a timer running. Yeah, we'll have to see how the ending of this level goes. The ending of this one is pretty messed up. Oh, come on. Favorite Mario Power Up Cape by far. I gotta show you the things I can do with Cape. Tanuki is really not the same. Oh, come on. Come on. Hated. No! You know, oh snap, thank you for the rose, appreciate that. That's why the ending is so messed up. Oh, good attempt. Game is this? this is a Super Mario World ROM hack called uh, Super Alabama Beach Mouse, made by Marvis J. Nice! 
face. Let's go. Okay, now we got to get into the credits and then that's time. <sighs> Let's go. Right. Forgot the save prompt comes up. There's time. 55, or sorry, 53.35. We got a palindrome time, hell yeah. Yo, Matthew Swanson, thank you for the freaking galaxy. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Oh, snap, thank you for the team bracelet and the rose. Jimmy, thank you for the four roses and the five GGs. Appreciate that. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, you've beaten two levels tonight. I beat um the one level and then I did a speed run of this, which is seven levels, so eight levels. Oh, let's go. Yeah, that's my first ever speed run of this hack. Um, I'm wondering if I'm up for a run back, like a second speed run of this. Wonder if I've got another in me. Found a Super Nintendo with controllers, plug, and SCART with a Super EverDrive for 79 pounds. That's a good price. All right, all right, let's do another run. I want to do another run. What's the record at? Uh, the record is unattainable right now because um, the creator of the hack has a head start in terms of practicing everything. And the creator of the hack, Marvis J, got an eight minute time as a result. Yo, Paul, thank you for the GG's coming in. Appreciate that. Yeah, let's see, now that I'm warmed up, see how quickly I can get the speed run. Speedrunning your own hack, right? Who would do that? Imagine. Couldn't be me. But yeah, I think it's really cool that there's a dev time to run against. I think that's awesome. Let's restart. Again, restarts are free on the first level of the hack because the time starts at file select. And if you haven't beaten a level anyway, then restarting doesn't lose you any progress. Yo, Pat J. Brandon, thank you for the GGs, by the way. Appreciate that. I'm trying to go too fast there. Okay. Let's restart the run again. 
I want to really like that was almost a one shot. That was almost a one shot. I, I kind of want to see if I can get a one shot to start the run off with. That would be awesome. It's a dead run death list. No, there's a few minutes of time loss or a couple minutes anyway. Um, I think genocide is bad, but the, let's not dwell on that w during a gaming stream, please. The problem is, with TikTok, you reach a fairly wide audience um, with the way your stream gets pushed to the algorithm. And um, I've had situations before where I just offhandedly said that I don't like Andrew Tate and then a bunch of people in chat started flooding W Tate or whatever. And I don't want to have that happening while I'm trying to game. Yo, Mrs. Thank you for the finger heart and the GGs. Appreciate that. But also, I think it's generally good to have a space where you're not thinking about the whole hopelessness about world events. Savable. Let's go. Okay. Okay. We got a good start. I mean, that was about equal with the start to the last run, but, but we're more practiced on the other levels, so we can keep this pace going potentially. I think I up-tossed the P-Switch too soon and it messed me up. So good at the game. Thank you. Appreciate it. Look at this pace. Look at this pace. Hell yeah. Who do I admire as a great player? Me. Pirata Jesus, thank you for the GG, appreciate that.
Okay. Okay. That one's a little tough. Finally getting somewhere here, though. Yeah, I would have died to the spike there. Oh. Good attempt, good attempt. What's the goal for the speed run? Um, I want to beat Revelog's time. So that'd be less than a half hour total for all seven levels. This is the third level in the speed run here. And we are... Well, you can see the time in the bottom right corner, seven minutes in. I forget what Revelug's time was exactly. Like 27, 28 minutes, something like that. Revelug's an amazing player. Yo, Brennan, thank you for the game controller. Appreciate that. Twenty-six fifty-three. Gotcha. Then that's my goal. To get faster than that. This is one of the hardest levels in the run. Thought that was awkward, but we're fine. Nice. Oh, what? Okay, I sped up too quickly, apparently. I kind of did that too good. Let's go. Okay, that's one of the hardest levels out of the way. Hell yeah. You know, Brickstain21. Thank you for the subscription over on the Twitch. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Really means a lot. Now let's go the same order as last time. Ooh, close. Good first attempt.
Yo, Beechin, thank you for the Prime sub. You're one and only Prime sub this month. Thank you so much for the support. It really means a lot. <clears throat> Enjoy the ad-free Twitch viewing and the adorable Jade Harley emails. Thank you so much. Ooh, okay. Lost too much speed with the left tap there. Otherwise, good attempt. Oh, are you kidding me? It was so close. It's possible that TikTok does get banned. I'm guessing it'll um, be a while before that happens, even if so. Thing is, TikTok is a global platform. The US is like 10% of its market share. They can eat the loss without ByteDance being forced to sell. So in that case, it would be a ban. Yeah, I think it runs against the First Amendment. Obviously, it would have to go through the courts and everything for them to determine whether or not it's a First Amendment violation to ban, arbitrarily ban a specific app like that. Oh, come on. I beat these levels already. I'm speedrunning it now. Oh, come on. Uh, this time it's not as much of a rumor. There's an actual bill that's, um, that passed the House, and it's, uh, headed to the Senate. Of course, it needs to go through the Senate committee, it needs to be revised. Um, a bunch of people are gonna protest and call their, uh, senators about it, and it's gonna get a lot of coverage, and then it'll come to a vote, and we'll see how the vote goes. And, um, then the president would sign it, he said he would, and then, um, it would have to be challenged in the courts, which would take a long time too. It's possible that there would be a temporary restraining order while it's going through the courts, um, that makes it take even longer before the ban goes into effect. And, um... In all of those steps, there's a chance that it could die. go. Kind of got death looped there a little bit on that one part in the middle of the level, but nice. Yeah, this is a Super Mario World ROM hack called Super Alabama Beach Mouse, and you do play as an Alabama Beach Mouse. Yo, Nick Traxler, thank you for the your amazing gift. Thank you so much for the support. It means a lot. Was the reasoning they're trying to ban TikTok? Um, the supposed reason is because um, 
there's a hypothetical threat with the fact that the majority stakeholder is uh, Chinese ownership. No! Oh, I wasn't able to grab the final shell. I got everything else. <laughs> that was a good attempt. I'll take it. Yeah, too low. Really? Ah, uh, it's midnight here. So once I finish this run, I'll end stream. Which I said that last run, but for real this time. What's the hardest one I've played? Um, I don't know, it's hard to compare at this point. Like, I've gotten so much better as a player that I can't really compare the uh, amount of time that I take to beat a level in the past to the amount of time that I take to beat a level now. The comparison just doesn't really work. Well, I wouldn't necessarily jump to the, um, uh... That's kind of a conspiracy kind of line, but I, I think that definitely, definitely plays a role in it. Um, I think, like, they would have wanted to ban it anyways, but um, the public opinion about the uh, current conflict going on, the way that's changed um, with the younger generation has accelerated it, potentially, I feel like. Oh, really? How'd that not hit the switch? Come on. Nice. Okay. That's five levels down, two to go. I love the music in this level. Great. Such a good level. One of my favorite levels, really.
doing too hard of a left tap there. Let's go! Let's go! I was kind of afraid that I almost threw the uh, second shell for that double shell jump at the end. I almost threw that too late. Nice. Suave, thank you for the 94 GGs. Appreciate that. Uh, there are ROM hacks of quite a few different games. Depends on uh, what people want to make and um, how spaghetti code the games are. Some games are easier to mod than others. But it, to answer your question, is the original game hard enough? No. Have you heard of speedrunning? For speedrunners, nothing is hard enough. There it is. Okay, I still have to go into the credits to end the timer, but I think that's third place in the world. That was sub rev. Nice. Let's go. Hell yeah. 23 minutes, 26 seconds. Let's go. No palindrome, run it back. So true. Hell yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed that, by the way, are you following it? Follow buttons up at the top of the screen. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That was an awesome run. Hell yeah. Man, I love this hack so much. Definitely my favorite hack. Yo, Brennan, thank you for the game controller. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It means a lot. Oh, let's go. Let's go. You know, J Fox Caesar from Twitch says hi to TikTok. Oh, let's go. Apparently there's a um there's a shellscape secret somewhere. Look at that. Three finished save files, hell yeah. Um, like in the, uh, in the, um, credits house. I think like at the fireplace or something. There's a DeWild Grim secret. Yo, Pat J. Brandon, thank you for the four GGs. I can't find it.
Oh. Um. Huh. What would I do from there? Wait a second. Aha! Hello! Wait, what? Is a QR code? Shit! Gotta scan this. <laughs> Where does it take me? Wikipedia.org slash Alabama Beach Mouse. The Alabama Beach Mouse is a federally endangered subspecies of old field mouse that li lives along the Alabama coast. It's literally just the Wikipedia page for Alabama Beach Mouse. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Secret tunnel. Yep. All right, that's where we'll be ending the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you all have a fantastic night. If you want to catch the next stream, um, the follow button is up at the top of the screen. I also have a Discord through the link in my bio. Uh, Discord is the best place to get notified if I go live. Uh, TikTok is super iffy about notifications. So uh, if you could join the Discord, you can keep up with when I'm streaming properly. Um, I also have a YouTube channel over at TJB VODs where I'll be uploading this full stream onto YouTube for you to watch. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you all have a fantastic night and I will see you all next time.